I'm going to start this video with a very short story, which is completely irrelevant, but most of us would have at least faced it once in our lifetime. On a very sunny day, meet two friends, Rose and Jake. Rose and Jake are very close with each other and then they share everything. In other words, they love to gossip. They talk about their teachers, they talk about their families and sometimes they even talk about their own close friends. One day, they are in school and are casually talking. Remember, it's a school, which means they are not alone. There are many people in the school, one behind them and one looking out the window and there are some kids uh, waiting for their parents to pick up uh, so it's a whole bunch now as usual rose has an interesting story to share so she starts off with uh, you won't believe what happened today you know how it is and the person behind them saw her excitement and started to pay attention to what they are talking about he has now become aware of what they are uh, discussing about if you would have watched some series or uh, movies like, uh, you know, uh, Sleepaway Camp or Carrie, you would know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is how it all begins. Uh, a very innocent, harmless gossip which ends up with uh, breaking friendships, relationships, uh, damaging the reputation and sometimes even ruining the entire life. Uh, so this is how it begins, you know, it's a, a small gossip here, a harmless prank there and eventually uh, it starts a whole killing spree. But let's not talk about killing here, but that's the whole gist of it. Any information could turn malicious and you can never know about it. That's the message. Now our Rose, who has watched all the slasher marathon movies, she becomes aware that she is in the school and she starts talking using some secret words which only she and Jake knows. So they have a secret code for their teacher, some codes for their events, happenings, you know how it is, they have their own uh, secret language. Then once they begin to talk like this, the person who is on the back listening to this, eavesdropping the whole time could not make a sense of what they are talking about and he feels frustrated and he decides to just leave the place. That's a really short story. Now it's time for the moral of the story. If you think the moral of the story is stop gossiping, then you're absolutely wrong. Because the moral of the story is not stop gossiping. The moral of the story is use a secret language while gossiping. Just ensure that no one understands what you are gossiping. That is the real moral of the story. The end. No, wait, that's not the end. That's too quick. What if our Jake is not exactly whom we think he is? What if he's actually the one who spreads all the rumors and floats different stories around the school? Then in this case, it could make some damages regardless of whether Rose used a secret language or not because she chose a wrong person to share her information with. Now it's time for the moral of the story. If you think it is to stop gossiping, then you are again absolutely wrong. Because the moral of the story is not only use a secret language while gossiping, but also gossip only with trusted friends. That is the second moral of this story. Now, the end. If you understood the story, then you will really understand what we are going to discuss in one more video in the Linux series. Hey there, welcome back. My name is Lingam. Thank you for watching this video today. In this topic, we will cover what is SSL and why it's needed. Any device, be it your PC, laptop, mobile or tablet, if you are using an app like your daily exercise app, your bank app, your company timesheet application, whatever it is, if it is going to connect to an internet and download some data, then there is 99% possibility that it is either using a HTTP or HTTPS protocol. How does a device communicate with another device? Usually there will be some form of an address, right? like an IP address or a domain name like www.blahblahblahblahblah.com. So this is how a device reaches the server, like another device uh, using an address. 
once the communication is made with the server then it can start sharing the data and receiving the data in text form sharing is a two way process it can be like you know the device says hello there and once it reaches the server server responds back with hello yourself so this is a two way communication which is happening from the device to the server the example is very simple here you could be uh, sharing your credit card details you could be entering your login details so there are a lot of things which you don't want others to know if you paid close attention to the story in the beginning of this video you should know that someone could always be listening to you in crowded places just because you are in the comfort of your bedroom do not think that no one is listening trust me when i say this internet is a really crowded place and someone could be listening now if you ask me how it is possible for someone to do that then i will give a statement which i usually use in most of my videos there are always more than one way to do it without going into too much technical things if you are using internet from your coffee shop or your hotel or shopping mall then someone could connect to the same network do some gateway spoofing do a man in the middle attack and read your data if you are in your home then maybe you downloaded a freeware installed it you thought everything is fine but the freeware is actually silently listening to your socket statistics which in turn is actually reading the data and sharing it with an external ip address like i said before there are more than one way to do it how do we protect ourselves then there comes ssl ssl stands for secure socket layer so this is the same s yes, that is present in the http s yes. so in a way s yes stands for secure well we have been saying that ssl helps ssl protects right but so what actually happens does it mean that if we install an ssl certificate that no one will be able to listen to what we are doing listen to what we are sharing the answer is no ssl will not stop or prevent someone from listening or intercepting your data from the story initially jake and uh, rose were talking in plain text like hey there you know what happened today something like that and that's the reason why someone else could understand what happened then rose started talking in their own secret language their coded language then no one was able to understand so that was the moral first moral of the story right use a secret language so that's what happens in case of an ssl initially the message starts with your pc or your device it will be like a plain normal text but when it starts transferring out of the pc it gets encrypted into a way like it's not understandable by anyone it's basically scrambled or a coded message so this coded message could only be understood by the server which is listening likewise the server also could be sending a message which is again uh, a coded and it could also be received by the device now this doesn't mean that no one else is uh, listening just like how it went in the story people can always listen but the only difference here is since it is a coded message even if someone else is listening they will not be able to understand so the difference is not that someone is will not be able to intercept your message they will still be able to intercept your message but they will not be able to understand your message now this is the main idea behind ssl instead of sending a plain text we are sending the information in an encrypted way now a quick note here i hope you remember the second moral of the story gossip only with trusted friends just because a website has a https doesn't mean that it is a secure website maybe no one else is listening but what if this website itself is like our jake who is really the bad person here and malicious one so you are going to share your credit card data or any other password or something like that with the website which is actually the intended malicious party maybe no one else is listening but the website itself has stolen your data so just because a website has https do not trust all website just share data only with well known websites and well trusted websites 
Now this is all fine. We understood uh, that there is some kind of uh, encryption going on here and there, but how does it encrypt? It encrypts using something called as RSA encryption. Remember, this video is not about uh, RSA encryption. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly tell a very, very, very small story to make you understand this RSA encryption. Consider there is a special kind of a suitcase. What makes it so special? It has two keys, a red key and a green key. What does red key can do? Red key can only lock the suitcase but cannot open the suitcase. Green key can not only lock the suitcase but can also open the suitcase. Now imagine that you are in a situation where you have some confidential documents that you are, need to bring from your home but you forget it at home. Your suitcase is now at your home. So you call your partner. And you just ask your partner to say, hey dear, can you just send those documents and lock it with the red key and hand it over through some courier person. The courier person could be a driver, maid or whomever it is. So now you have the green key, which is the only way how you can open the suitcase. Now, even if someone steals the red key from your partner, it is of no use because it cannot open the suitcase. Only you can open the suitcase. Now, this is the case with RSA encryption. RSA is an asymmetric way of encryption which has two keys, two special keys, a public key and a private key. Public key can only lock, it cannot open, a private key can open. So remember, client will always have the public key, so client encrypts the data with the public key. So this public key could be shared with the client through the SSL certificate and the server unlocks the data with the private key. So this is how SSL works. Thank you.